Hey everyone, welcome to our second show of uh, season two. We're going to go to the Greenwood Smelter and we're going to show you what's uh, still at the Greenwood Smelter. Pretty fascinating story. There was three smelters built in this area around 1900. The biggest one was Grand Forks, one of the biggest in the world. The Greenwood Smelter is a little smaller. There's nothing left the Grand Forks one, so we're going to see that, that quite a bit of stuff left the Greenwood Smelter. So we'll show you that. Um, so we bought a couple, a new hat for the new season here. So it's really cool. It has clips that holds the light in really securely, and it's quite light. So that'll, uh, we'll be using that next year. And we found a really old helmet. That's a carbide lamp that was used. Uh, it was used around, um, this was from about 1925. They used these in the coal mines. So, um, yeah, it's really cool. You put a chunk of carbide in there in water and it makes acetylene gas, and uh, that was the old light. So. We're just going to do a quick pass over top of the slag pile and the uh, town of Greenwood here. So the slag pile doesn't look that big from the air, but uh, get on the ground, it's actually quite massive. You can see it right from the highway. I would say it's over 100 feet high. It's quite tall right along the creek there. And there's like I say, there's a lot of stuff left there. We'll go down with the quad there and we'll have a real good look at it. There's the big smokestack. It's 215 feet high. Um, so we're going, uh, the town of Greenwood's pretty much right in the town of Greenwood. Um, under, right underneath us, uh, we'll follow the, the rail here for a little ways. You can see right underneath the plane, uh, that's where the railway, there's a rail trail there now, so you can kind of tour through the area. Uh, we're right under over top of the, where the railway right away was there that went uh, to the smelter. So here's a couple pictures of what the smelter looked like back in the day. Uh, it was built around 1900 and it rent about 1918, uh, so basically less than 20 years that it actually operated, kind of on and off a little bit because they had some shortage of coal. So you can see the, the the big stack and just about all the pictures, and we'll go there and see what it looks like today. Yeah, now we're seeing some real mining history. We're on top of the slag pile at Greenwood, and you can see the top there. We'll get in, see if we can get up there. There's some of them. They call Hell's Bells. There's a I can give you a kind of a sneak peek of them, but we'll get right up to them if we can. There's some pretty old history here. Look at these buildings, how old they are. Yeah. You know, this is all 120 years old. Look at this wall. We just gobbed in here. All hand piled rock, eh? Pulled this bank in here. And I'm not even sure, you know, what we're looking at or what the purpose of this was, but some uh, pretty old buildings and old structures here. All kind of crumbling here now, but all part of the smelter at Greenwood. We're gonna just have a poke around there and have a look at some of this stuff. It's all kind of crumbling now. Looks like there's an old boiler or air compressor or something there. <laughs> You'd think this city would try to uh, 
preserve some of this stuff, you know, keep it cleaned up and tourists could wander around here and look at this stuff. I think it's fascinating. I just managed to kind of sneak in here with my quad. There's more old trails along the old power line. And uh, we came back down onto this slag pile. So, this, these look very similar to what, something that I have at home that I thought was from uh, building roads, but I don't know what the purpose of that is. I've got something very similar at home to that. And I really don't know what it did. Two of them quite similar. So there's the most iconic site in Greenwood. The big uh, smokestack from the spelter. Looking a little worse for wear these days. Some of the bricks are falling off the top of it, but she's still standing. These are all buildings here associated with the smelter. At one time there's nothing much left there except some bits of scrap metal here and there. A lot of uh, coal slag. Stuff from the... Oh, this stuff's really light. Doesn't weigh anything at all. It's a couple ounces. It's old bricks. And remains of the smelter. Tunnel? It's just crazy. It just went straight up this hill. Look at all these bricks that are holding it. And it just went straight up the hill. And uh, there's that big smokestack. So, you know, basically those smelters. <laughs> Can you imagine how much material must have been burning for them to have to build something like this, eh? So this was a great big tunnel and, uh, you know, this uh, big huge furnaces just sent a stream of of smoke and, and ash up here. We're, we're burning all this coke in here for this uh, for these furnaces, eh? So, so I don't know how much longer this is going to last. Obviously it's, uh, it's all starting to collapse now. A lot of bricks in here, eh? Oh, just uh, awesome, the engineering and stuff in here. We're going to hop down in here and we're going to follow this tunnel, see where it goes. So here's a shot looking up the hill, up into the in this just massive tunnel from this uh, smelter. And uh, this roof is all pretty much collapsed except for this section here. And uh, yeah, so imagine how big those furnaces must have been for this to be full of smoke and just roaring straight up. This is just a big chimney, is all this is. Look how many bricks they used eh, to build this stuff, eh? <laughs> just crazy. Massive amount of brick all on the ceiling there. I don't know why they did that all out of brick like that, but that's the way it was done. There's a little hole going in here, so this would be a nosy. We're gonna have to have a look in here. Let's see where this hole goes. What the purpose of this hole would have been. Huh. Oh wow. <laughs> this might have been in here to somehow regulate uh, airflow or something. Who knows? <laughs> Lots of bricks here. It's a massive amount of brick. Well, this is the tunnel that they built. Looks like an old sewer system way back from the 1800s or something, eh? Almost. Well, this is what's left of the smelter of Greenwood. I suppose people probably think there's nothing left but a, that big tunnel. Or not the tunnel. It's a grizzly. Yeah, it looks like a big kiln. You know, I never even ran for that many years. I'd have to do a little more research, but less than 20 years. I spent a massive amount of money here. <laughs> to
to build this, that's for sure. Look at the way this whole thing is all built. Reminds you of an Auschwitz or something. <laughs> Not that I've ever been there. Cool. Yeah, she's quite the deal. So who knows how this all hooked up. But that's where she started here. So there must have been big, uh, these must have been big ovens or something in here. All the gases went that way. Boy, it's a big, uh, I had no idea how big this actual smelter was. It's huge. At the edge of this massive slag pile, you see it as you're driving by, and it's really hard really to describe just how big it is. And uh, how this was produced or how it was formed was you know, um, all the ore come from the mines and went to this great big huge smelter they had here and uh, they mixed her up with coke and uh, went through the furnaces and basically everything that wasn't uh, copper or, or uh, metals, you know, it was just a waste rock and all that was mixed up with this and it was dumped here and so, you know, this is basically the byproduct of, uh, of all the mines here. So this smelter operated, I think, probably only for about 10 years, I could be wrong, maybe a little longer. But uh, yeah, a massive pile, and this wasn't even the biggest smelter. The one in Grand Forks is bigger. So, we're, so there's a sign there that says active mine and keep out, but uh, this is the least active mine I've ever seen. There's nothing going on here at all whatsoever. I guess at one time they were trying to uh, sell some of the slag for something, but there's no equipment here and nothing happening here anymore. It would have been just imagine how hot that would have been to make it do that, eh? Just melted right on there, smooth, metallic. Almost seems like a nice guy could break that piece off. It almost seems like a big chunk of copper to me. Oh, yeah, I can break it off. No, it's not copper because it's not heavy at all. Well, that'll be a nice souvenir. Well, it kind of is heavy. Maybe copper, I don't know. Be a nice souvenir to take home. Just gonna drive along the top here, just show you how long this actually is. It's a pretty big pile. So um, this land actually belongs to the city of Greenwood. There's a park there, um, but they haven't really done anything with it. Basically, there's not even any real trails there. It's just a sign at the entrance that says "Enter at your own risk," and uh, they set up kind of a little bit of a a stand there. But uh, you know, the trees are just kind of basically uh, growing all through. It's kind of a real shame because it's a real historic part of Greenwood. Um, I actually talked to the mayor about it, and uh, he said that they're planning on uh, cleaning this up and uh, trying to encourage tourists to go in there. So that'd be really great if they did that. That's kind of a shame to see it sitting like that. But, um, yeah, there's no reason why you can't go up there and uh, take a walk around there and have a look about this. This Almost all this material came from the Motherlode Mine, which is only about five miles away by rail. And, uh, and this material was processed from the Motherlode. So... All the stuff you see here is actually just the dirt and the host rock that's left after the copper and the copper, lead, uh, silver and gold was uh, was removed from the ore. And uh, see that's what's left today. Oh yeah, see, happy shiny people work here, eh? bells, eh? They're pretty big. Want to go to hell? What's in there? <laughs> well, it looks like a good little barbecue. <laughs> yeah, there's a whole pile of these along here. Whole long, 
the ridge here. Castings. So here's a picture of those big slag pots. That's uh, where the hell's bells came from inside the mill. Here's the creek. <laughs> I don't know how the fishing is in the creek. Yeah, it doesn't look like much of this material is getting in there. One Grand Forks is right along the river there too. This is the old power station. Pretty old building too. Pretty cool picture. Smelter here at Greenwood. The max behind one of the Hell's Bells. I guess this must be the highway to hell, eh? Because there's Hell's Bells. <laughs> like a glass you know so you can see that it's really feels really sharp too eh it looks like it's wet eh or like it has oil on it or something but it's not let's try to find one of the more interesting looking pieces to take home a big chunk really interesting looking material yeah quite a bit different from the one side to the other I guess it just kind of depends on the makeup of the material that was in the slag, the, the byproduct and the minerals. And almost like, this is like glass, eh? Looks like glass. Huh. That wall, you know, it was all just laid and there's gobbed in there to hold the slag higher up. interesting to see some of this rock, eh? This wall's pretty interesting. The wall was built there and the backfill was put in behind it, by the looks of it. Looks like it was all piled there by hand. Maybe not, but it looks that way to me. Eh? 